Alright, I'll save you all the torture of hearing that song again. Anyway, I'm going to pause the video real quick and take the screws out of the plaque and kind of go over what I did on this thing to make it possible. So this here might be probably the most complicated thing I've come up with so far, mainly because of the complexity of it. To start off, that is our main board, our brain that controls everything. It's basically your IC chip that would be on this board, but as you can see this one has been taken off and replaced by this external circuit board that controls it. The reason I had to do that, I was just going to run the head and the tail off of this board originally, but it didn't really have enough power you know, to move some high power quality jammy motors. Anyway, this is a knockoff board, 100%. Like, if you watch other videos of, like, the TL Toys singing in the Rain Dog is completely different from this one. The programming's different, it sounds better. You can, like, you can even hear the cymbal in the beginning of the song. On this one, it's, like, the audio quality is so low you can't even hear it. Anyways, I'm not here to complain, I'm here to explain. So, this is our main driver board for the head and the tail. You got the signal wires that come off of the brain, or this chip. You can see it comes out of there, comes over here, and then goes to the activation wires for the head and the tail. They're these little, you know, the very small lines that come off of the IC. There's always three of them in the middle of the chip, not the real long ones that connect to everything. It'll always be a short one that stops, like right there, and there, and there. If you want to test them on a Billy Bass or really any kind of jammy item, you can take your positive wire and you can touch it in between those pins and it'll make the mechanism move like it's supposed to. And it doesn't hurt the IC, it's what the IC does, it just outputs power to each one of those pins to make it move. And then it has a speaker amplifier somewhere over here. But anyways, the only thing I used from this board was the speaker output which runs all the way over here to this speaker and the speaker is connected to this talker board from a Jemmy talking pumpkin. Scrapped it out because the IC chip died on it, but anyways, how I did this one, as you can see, I don't know what this wire is to, I think that's the ground wire. I could have made these some other color than just green. But that's the output to the motor, and that is, yeah, that's the input wire right there. You can see the resistor on it. It's glued in there. The other input wire is one of these green ones. I think it's this one. I'm not 100% certain, but I'm, I'm probably gonna buy another one of these boards and set it up and take a video of it just to show y'all how I do this. So, you know, y'all can expand on your projects and do the same thing and make really anything have mouth movement just from a speaker signal. It's really, really cool and very good to have. But anyways, the speaker, one wire connects directly to the board, to the input, and the other one goes through this potentiometer and this resistor and then connects to the board where you can dial it up and down and fine tune it. Because originally I had a bunch of resistors all lined up and it didn't work nearly as good as this does so I took them all out yesterday and swapped it out. But anyways, off topic here but this wire right here goes all the way to the main singer board here and it runs it on four and a half volts. They both share the same ground wire and it's spliced in to the motion sensor switch where you can turn the thing on and off. Motion switch, or the motion sensor does nothing. You can, uh, I could probably just take it out if I wanted to. But I just, I left it in there because it's hard to like cover the hole if you take it out. It kind of looks weird underneath the nameplate. Oh, one more thing. This board is powered all the time from power, but it only receives, you know, like the motor only connects to the power whenever the head turns. I. Like, I wired that up kind of weird. You can see it in there. Yeah, I just, I figured I'd share that. It's pretty cool. Oh, um, another fun fact about jammy boards individually. For some reason, what I figured out, the, the positive wires ran all the time to each motor, but the ground wire is what turns them on and off. I've never seen that before. I always thought it was the positive wire that turns them on and off. And how I figured that out is because when I ran, you know, the negative wire to the mouth motor, and then ran the positive to the head motor, it like it kept moving all the time through the entire song and it would never stop. 
but whenever I did the opposite, I ran the, you know, the positive wire to the mouth and connected the ground up here to the head. It only works when the head's turned, so somehow they operate off of a ground signal instead of positive. And I don't know if anybody could explain that to me. I don't really understand how that even works, because I thought the transistors output power instead of outputting a ground signal. But, yeah, buddy, I guess that's all there is to this crazy singing fish. Even though it seems like a simple custom from the outside, it's really got quite a bit going on in here. Anyways, I guess that's all there is to it. And, yeah, I'm glad y'all watched this video. I hope I made sense to you. If not, you know, I could... I'm gonna try to take more videos of me doing stuff like this because that's, you know, my problem with doing customs is I never take video of it while I'm doing it. I just take a video of the final product and leave everybody guessing on how I did it. Here's a little extra for you. Three batteries. Three batteries.